Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, and as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode within my Microsoft VDI, or Cloud VDI series, should I say. Um, we, we've, we've kicked off the, the series, I suppose, in the last couple of episodes by talking about um, DevBox. Um, and I've got a good six, seven, eight episodes that I want to cover on this. It's a, it's a, for me, it's a massive topic, and I don't want to do it injustice by just skipping through it and doing a little overview. Try and go as deep as I can. Um, and in the last episode, uh, or last couple of episodes, we, we, we've done some demos of deploying the Dev Center. We then created the network connections in the last episode. Today, we're going to go look at compute galleries and add those to our Dev Center as well. Um, we're just going to try and put all those pieces together of that Dev Center and that Dev Box puzzle. Um, I'm actually today going to be starting, to, well, going to talk a little bit more about the architecture. So we started off the architecture discussion in the last episode. Uh, I'm going to continue that. So let's get started with this episode. So this is the Microsoft BDI series, as I mentioned. So this is part two of the Microsoft DevBox architecture sort of subtopic, I would say. Um, so today we're going, to, we're going to talk about network connectivity. We're going to talk about the Microsoft Intune integration. We're also going to do then continue that DevBox uh, configuration demo. And we're going to do compute galleries today. So this is a, a, a bit of a, I call it high level, low level, call it what you want. It's quite, I think it's quite detailed. Um, it's basically a logical architecture of Microsoft DevBox. So the two parts I want to really talk about are the network connectivity and the Intune integration. So network connectivity is obviously, um, as you can see on the screen, it's towards the right, it's the networking. So you've got your Microsoft hosted network, but also that's in your DevBox service, but also in the customer. So in our subscription, we've got networking. That could be Azure Network, a VPN, Azure VPN, virtual network, express route, stuff like that. But also that integration with third-party VPN and on-prem network as well. So the network connection controls where DevBoxes are created and is hosted. And it enables you to connect other Azure or corporate resources. Depending on your level of control, you can use Microsoft hosted virtual connections or you can bring your own Azure virtual connections as well. Microsoft hosting network connections provide network connectivity in a SaaS sort of manner. Uh, Microsoft manages the network infrastructure and related services on, on your dev boxes. And Microsoft hosting networks are also cloud only deployments with a support from Microsoft Entra join. This option isn't compatible with Microsoft Entra hybrid join model, by the way. We then have the Intune integration. That's right at the bottom left, as you can see. That connects straight to the dev boxes, but also integrates with Entra ID to give us that SSO and the conditional access as well. So Microsoft Intune is used to manage the dev boxes. Uh, you know, everyday dev box users need one Microsoft license uh, or Intune license and can create multiple dev boxes. And after dev boxes provision, you can manage it like any other sort of Windows device in Microsoft Intune. Example of this is you can create dev, uh, device configuration profiles to turn different settings on and off in Windows or push apps and updates to your users' dev boxes as well. And Microsoft Intune and associate Windows components of various network endpoints that must be allowed through the virtual network. Apple and Android endpoints can, can, can be safely sort of ignored if you don't use Microsoft Intune for managing those device types. Um, so as again, on the next episode, we're going to go through some more of these features, but I want to start off by talking about the network connections and Intune specifically. Um, so we're now going to jump in the demo, get a bit of a short episode. I want to try and do multiple episodes, but digest, so, you know, so let you digest information. So I'm doing little by little, and then hopefully we'll get to the bigger picture and, and the full deployment, and hopefully it'll also sunk in. So let's jump into the demo portal and let's look at compute galleries for DevBox. So we are back in the demo portal. Let's go into Dev Center. Uh, and if we go to Azure Compute Galleries, um, so we don't have an existing compute gallery, so we want to, you know, if we, if we go, um, you know, we've got one there, but what we need to do first is we need to add a system assigned account. So if we go to uh, Identity here, uh, let's just add a system assigned, save that. Uh, so we register with Entra ID, once it's registered, can we grant access to resources to check Entra ID? So yeah, we do want to add a system assigned run. Uh, while that's in, let's actually, um, I want to create an Azure, go, let's go to compute gallery, type in compute gallery. So there we are. Oh, well, well, let's wait for this to finish at least. Okay, so that's enabled now. Let's go into the compute gallery. Um, I'll leave that one. I think that's for one of my other, uh, maybe for my nerdy or stuff. So I'll leave that one. Is right. Let's create one for for DevBox. So 
Again, I want to put it in the dev RG. Call it IT. I could type, I'd be dangerous. ITG hyphen zero compute zero dash zero one. Ah, oh, so we can't. Uh, let's just no dashes. Okay. And then uh, let's go to sharing method. So we're going to use our back, or do you want to use our back and share to public community gallery? Um, again, depends on on what your what your requirement is. So this is going to use it for role based uh, sharing. So we'll we'll leave it at that. Again, we can use we'll publish it to to the community. Um, probably share with anyone in Asia, but let's just let's just leave it as it is. Uh, any tags if you want them, review and create. And let that create. Now, once that's created, we'll jump back into Dev Center and add it through the Dev Center as well. Okay, so that took a couple of minutes. Um, let's go back into Dev Center and let's go back to do, 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 do. So where is it? Compute Galleries. There we go. Let's add our Compute Gallery here. And click on Add. And this is where. Um, can put all our images and what I'll do is I'll create some custom images to put in there outside of the demos and that way we can we can add those to some of our, our dev boxes as when we need them so that was just a quick overview or a quick demo around compute galleries again um, as we're trying to go through the deployment step by step go through the information in a bit more detail um, which is why I've got smaller a few more episodes as well so we're not next we'll look at catalogs in the next episode looking at attaching a catalog as a demo um, so hopefully you're enjoying it. If you, if you know, really appreciate everyone's support. And you know, again, at the time of at the time of uh, this video, I might already be at twenty k. So if I am, thank you very much. Um, if I'm not, then you know, please do subscribe. Loads of useful links in the description below to some of the Microsoft Learn topics that are what we're talking about. Um, but also drop me a comment or drop me. I'll put my socials in there as well. Drop me a, a, a connect with me on my socials and happy to engage people and talk to people about the the sort of EDI solutions that I'm talking about. So thank you for joining me and until next time, goodbye.